Hello and welcome to Techno Simplicity YouTube channel. My name is Jay Chung. Today I'm going to share with you how to create your carousel in WordPress the simplest way. When we say the simplest way, it should be take more than 60 seconds to create a simple carousel, right? So how to do it and the carousel should be beautifully and responsive enough that supporting both desktop versions as well as the mobile version. So how are we going to do it? Let me show you. Let's go. Well, this is the guy that I'm talking about. Okay, we want to make carousel so easy. And if you see these two logos, then you can choose who actually in the WordPress industry you shall know. Elementor is a very great web builders, and because of this, um, creating the website in WordPress has been so easy. And this EA is actually stand for Essential Add-ons. So it's basically a booster to the Elementor that we already been using it. So why not? You know, straight away comes to the demo right now. So at very first thing is, let's go to the Elementor and it's considered number one web creation platform of WordPress. And today I'm going to share you the free versions that can make amazing carousel already. Eh? No need to go for pay version, but of course, if you want more features, you are more than welcome to go and subscribe to the plan and upgrade your your membership and stuff. So this is Elemento and this is Essential Add-ons. So what does this Essential Add-ons do and how does it relate to the carousel? Okay, let me show you this demo here. If you come to the demo page and you look for carousel, so there are few carousel here. Uh, okay, this is just pro version. Eh? This is free version. This is okay. Let's look at all three elements. Okay, and look for carousel team member logo and there are post carousel okay when it comes to post carousel this could be something dynamic because um your post could be updated from time to time okay comparing to the team member and logo so this thing is dynamic and as well as flip kind twitter feed carousel yeah that's cool and Last but not least, for those who are doing e-commerce, I believe you must. Uh, it will be more, more. Uh, what we call, you will prefer this thing called WooCommerce product carousel. So how to do it? Let me show you. And of course, uh, the first thing is go to your WordPress backend, look for the plugin, install Elementor as well as essential add-on for Elementor. Okay, if you do know which one is you can always refer to my video description for the direct link to the wordpress plugin so that you can recognize which is which okay install activate as usual once you activated the essential add-ons you shall see this wizard page okay there are six uh so-called six uh, steps here the first one is they actually ask you how you want to enhance your elemental page um for me um, if you really do know what you are going to do, you just choose the basics, okay? But for me, I will take the custom because I know which is which. So let's click to next. When we come to next here, it's actually basically telling you what kind of elements you want in your Elemental web, bu uh, uh, web page builder. So the carousel function that we want is actually here. So you can take this and untick the other guys. but for the sake of demo purpose i'm going to take everything here okay so i'm just going to click next then they actually will lure you to subscribe um to their uh, their pro version so it's up to you whether you want to go ahead okay for me i'm just get it for now as well as they will have this uh template as two so if you subscribe to the pro version you can get this uh template which is which is something like uh you can you can start something with templates like, huh? that's another stuff but again i i am not going to touch it today then as well as all those integrations also okay we're going to skip it and press next okay now they're asking you whether you want to be the contributor and so on for me i'm just click no thanks press okay at this moment okay okay when it's done it show you congratulations and what's next 
Okay, the next thing is go to create thing. Okay, go to your WordPress page, create a new page. Okay, this part I believe you know already. Yeah? So I will go for Elementor plus essential add-ons demo, especially on Carousel. And this is for post version, shall we? Okay, when you're done, this is the default WordPress uh, page editing uh, area. So you're going to do this uh, in edit with Elementor. Okay, so let's do this. Let me drag it out and show you this. Okay, now we have this empty step, uh, empty areas here. And if you look at the left hand side of your Elementor WordPress uh, um, page builder, let's turn on. Uh, um, okay let's look at this part you shall have this extra area is called as a essential add-ons then these are the guys that we trigger just now so now let's move to carousel okay if you type the words carousel definitely can filter already the stuff that you want and let's look at the product carousel okay Let's do the simple demo right now. Actually, da da. Da da. Da da. <laughs> I, I know you are happy just like me, right? Because it's just easy, okay? Of course, the products picture and, and the description is really up to you how you're going to design it, okay? Um, that is how you insert your WooCommerce product. When you have that, this carousel basically is pulled out um, the data already. So there are a few layouts here you can choose. Uh, let's choose number two, see how it works. Yeah, number two is without the words, you have to mouse over. Okay, that's cool. And look at number three. Yeah, so basically there are four presets here. I think more than enough for me. Yep, yep, this looks really cool. And then whether you want to show the title or not. Title is supposed to be the product title. Okay. If your picture is more on with um, the wording is already in the picture, I think you can hide. But for me, I'm going to show it. And yeah, you can choose all the triggers here, right? Let me put it bigger. Okay. Ignore the right hand side. Focus on the left hand side here. So you want to show the product rating, show the product price. All these triggers is by a simple clicks only okay you want to show the description and how does the image size is whether you want to show a very high quality or you are fine with this small image okay it's really up to you and yep image is clickable or not yes title is clickable okay carousel setting this is the part whether you want to slide or you want to cover flow look at look at it it changed already yeah Okay, let me let me drag here so you can see do you see this guy you realize it's changed the effect yep because of this part so if you go to pro version i believe there are more effects here i believe huh then of course you can change all the you know the speeds or the gap uh, whether it's autoplay or uh, whether you want to post on hover means uh when my mouse mouse over here i don't want the individual item to be still moving at the same time so yeah then whether i want to change the cursor when i mouse over the area so yes i want to change the cursor so people actually know that i can grab okay by the way this editing um editing page so it might be different compared to what you see at the front and and uh the query yes this is the part that what kind of data you pull in so for example i want to get uh, the recent products and then i'll order by date which means the latest will be coming in to this part and let's say i only want to show six products after six i mean the latest six only then after that i don't show it here so it's up to you how to choose it then you can you know choose your product type your category attacks and so on so it's up to you how you want to filter the data okay that's the word for query and Instead of showing sales, maybe you want to show something else, right? Let's see, preset to how it works. Oh, so it's a round button here. See that? And preset three will be like 
okay it's like a small icon there and so on so it's really up to you how do you want to configure this part okay so let's say i choose back uh carousel i go back to slide form and then uh let me try reset for ah this is something like this cool right so this is how easy it is you can create carousel uh, for WooCommerce as well as post. So for post, right? Okay, let's see. We can search post. They are post grid. They are post timeline. Okay, unfortunately, post carousel is a paid version. That's why there's a lock button. Oops, I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, at least you have these products already. Or you can always get a post grid. Let me try how this works. Yep, this is post grid. It just is not moving. Uh, not like the carousel that you saw. But I think it's, it's cool for me as well. Let's say I want to have two columns. Uh, this is post, uh, by the way. I'm just reuse the, the media that I prepare uh, beforehand. This is product. This is a uh, post. So yeah. Yeah, for me it's good enough even though it's not a carousel for post but yeah i mean product is makes sense for post i want to be shown rather than a, it's a draggable uh, slider but it's up to you okay guys if you feel like post is very important for you yeah let's go ahead and get get the essential add-ons on uh, pro version because let me show you get the plug in it's actually very affordable Look at this lifetime deal you can get. Okay, come on. No no need renewal required and it's a lifetime support and updates with just less than 200. Come on. What else you want? Okay. And of course, if you are agency out there, you can always get this uh, 639. Yeah. Okay. If you want to get a cheaper version or anything, contact me. I, I might have a bug purchase and I can some license to distribute yes can talk to me okay so I've been show you how to create a carousel in WordPress using Elementor plus the essential add-ons of the plugin to, to boost up the one of the greatest web builder in WordPress ecosystem so you show i already show you just now even though it's actually test like less than 60 seconds but i explain and go through with you guys in terms of um you know what are the configurations you can be done how the setting is could be and so on so i hope you learned something today and i'm super great that i can help you so if you found this video is very useful for you or perhaps you like it please do me a favor by like this video subscribe to my channel as well as put a ring so that you can get notified every wednesday at 15 pm i go live as well as every sunday i will upload such tutorial video for you guys free of access okay thank you so much for watching my name is jay chong and signing off technology simplicity youtube channel hope to see you guys again stay home stay safe goodbye